Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here on uh, Saturday, July 30th, 2013 at 1350 in the afternoon, Eastern Time. We're having an Oktoberfest right now. It's come out very early. Uh, I normally don't see this until the first week in September, but it was in the store today when I went over there. Now, once again, uh, I have been uh, moved to do this uh, by a fellow that I watch, uh, whose channel I watch, and I've mentioned him before, and I'll, I'll put a link to his channel here uh, in the description. I am Stantastical. This guy is extremely interesting and well worthwhile to listen to and watch. Um, but he... He was talking about personality tests. Um, he specifically talked about the Myers-Briggs test that he had had to take recently. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, but the, the test today that he referenced is called the, uh, and these are all capital letters, N-E-R-I-S, N-E-R-I-S, Type Explorer. That's a standard capital T, capital E, type it. So Narrows Type Explorer, and that's a registered trademark, by the way. Um, and uh, it's a free test you can take online. It takes, it says 12 minutes. That's a, probably about right, actually. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, it's about a, about a 50 question test. And unlike the Minnesota multiphasic personality test, these things give you a, a scale of, uh, of you, know, you know, you have strongly, strongly, strongly agree to strongly disagree, and then you've got, you know, moderately disagree, more, you know, somewhat disagree. Uh, Somewhat agree, moderately agree, strongly agree, and then there's a neutral circle in the middle. They urge you not to use the neutral circle. They want you to make make a call, but it's it's unlike the multi sort of multiphasic test. <coughs> you know, it it doesn't it doesn't demand you know one of these yes or no answers. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Now that Minnesota thing's upwards of 300 some plus questions or more of, of, you know, with all sorts of self-contradictory statements that, you know, essentially all demand a nuanced answer, but they just want a yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Intensely frustrating test to take. The first week of medical school was sort of an orientation week. And we took at least three of these guys. Uh, I think we took them all in one day, actually. Uh, one was the Minnesota thing, uh, the other was the Myers-Briggs, and I don't know, there was a third one, and I couldn't begin to tell you what the third one was. And we, ne we never saw the results of any of those things. You know, but that, that took up the better part of, well, one morning, actually more than one morning, actually, I think. That Minnesota thing goes on for about two and a half hours. Um... I may be slightly misremembered. But in any case, uh, my results were, and it was interesting, I went through and I, I, I forgot to save them the first time through. Um, and then I went back and I copied the, uh, the actual questions, you know, you can see I've got them here. Um, and I thought, well, let's just do a little quality control here. You know, I mean, I got, I got result one. And then I went through and I took it again and I got result two. Now they're essentially almost identical results. So, um, you know, I'm, in, you know, in, in, introvert, you know, interjective type A, which is, they call it the architect. Um, and uh, then they can give you a little 
you can go and you can get a little personality profile. This, this is astonishingly, staggeringly, astonishingly accurate. And it came, you know, and, and you know, two similar results. I mean, you know, I was, I was just flabbergasted because I think sometimes I think a lot of this stuff's a bunch of crap. Well, when it's all about me. In the age of the narcissist, everything rises to the, well, either rises to the top or, you know, it shuts it off to the side. So, I'm not going to read you this. You can go to this place's website, which I'll give you here at the bottom, and look at it for yourself. But I thought it would be fun to go through some of these questions, just, you know, not to, not to plow through the entire thing, but just a little bit. Now, uh, you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand the messy inbox. You find it easier to stay relaxed and focused even when there is some pressure. You do not usually initiate conversations. You rarely do something just out of sheer curiosity. You feel superior to other people. That's that pride fucking with you. It's always the last sin to be shed. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. You're highly motivated and energetic, usually. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Well, I think anybody who's listened to me for any length of time knows that the answer to that's going to be strongly disagree. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Strongly disagree. <laughs> Your home and work environments are quite tidy. Strongly disagree. You don't mind being at the center of attention. You consider yourself more practical than creative. People can rarely upset you. That's I, that's that's a. That's a moderately agree. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Strongly agree. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Strongly agree. Your mood can change very quickly. In a discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivities. Yes. Strongly agree. Truth is what it's all about. Truth, peace, and love. You rarely worry about how your actions affect other people. Your work style is closer to random energy strikes, energy spikes in the methodical and organized approach. You are often envious of others. Strongly disagree. Strongly disagree. An interesting book or a video game is often better than a Social event. Well, I, I put there mildly agree uh, on the second time through. Um, it's a toss up between that and moderately agree. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Moderately disagree. You never know what's going to happen. You know, I mean, no plan stays the same after you. No, no, no battle plan stays the same after you first contact the enemy. You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. You often find yourself lost in thought when you are walking in nature. Absolutely strongly agree. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying if you said something wrong. Strongly disagree. 
As a parent, you would rather see your child grow up kind and smart. Strongly disagree. It'd be nice if they're kind. It would be very desirable if they're kind. But if you have to choose one, you don't want a dumbass. You do not let other people influence your decisions. Well, I'll moderately agree on that, actually. Your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Strongly agree. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities at your new workplace. Well, I've had very few new workplaces. I've been very fortunate to have very few new, new workplaces in my life. Um, but when I was down at Grand Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, um, you know, when, you, when you're a staff physician where you're, you know, you're in a, you're not a, well, even when you're starting out, you're, you're in a relatively senior role to the, any residents that are around. Uh, and you're sort of expected to, you know, the, the physicians are expected to do a certain amount of entertaining and helping out the residents and so forth. And so uh, I, I may have mentioned this many, many videos back that uh, every Friday night, about two or three surgeons and myself would take the surgical residents out and some of the general practice residents out to a, a hotel restaurant just at that time down the street. It's now been torn down, but it was at the Christopher Inn, the old Christopher Inn on Broad Street. And, and we, the, the two or three docks, or you know, sometimes it was four docks, but you know, usually it was just two surgeons and myself, which, you know, we'd, we'd pay for the whole spread um, and take these guys out every Friday night, you know. Now, sometimes not all of them could be there any given Friday night. But that was always fun to do. I always loved doing that. Um, you were more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Well, I you know, mildly disagree. I mean, again, it's, it's a variant of no battle plan survives contact with the enemy. You, know. um, you plan, but... You never know what's going to happen. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Well, moderately disagree on that. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress-up or role-play activities. Absolutely fucking not. So that's, that's a strongly disagree. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Well, you know, mildly agree. Yeah, I mean, you have to think about stuff, don't you? <clears throat> and again, we had, you would rather improvise and spend time coming up with a detailed plan. You know, it's interesting, there's like three, three questions out of the 50 that deal on that, that same theme. Uh, so again, mildly disagree. But, you know, you never know. I mean, it's... You never know. You're a relatively reserved and quiet person. Surprisingly, uh, moderately agree. Um, despite the fact I've been on YouTube now, coming up on the four years. Well, three and three-quarter years, anyway. Um, yeah. You know, left to my own devices, I... I tend not to stir too many things up. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal but underperforming employees. Moderately agree. Maybe even strongly agree. Uh, loyalty to me, uh, you know, loyal, loyalty in any sort of enterprise to me, not to me personally so much, but just to the endeavor, is takes large priority over maybe not the best of abilities. Now, you know, sheer incompetence, that's another thing altogether. You know, I mean, there, there were about three times where it was very clear that some of the resident physicians 
that I encountered were just this. You know, this area of medicine is not for them. Plus, they, you know, they may not have had even the ethics properly, you know, proper ethics for it. And so, OTD. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. No, not really. No, I mean, that's up to God. It's up to me. So that's a moderately disagree. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Absolutely. Strongly agree. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. Moderately agree. You always have to have a way out. Always, always know where the exit is when you go into a building. Particularly a crowded bar at night. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Well, my second time through this, I said strongly agree. Um, probably the first answer I gave was moderately, uh, strongly, dis strongly disagree. If your friend is sad about something, you are more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Strongly disagree. I think I probably said moderately disagree the first time through. You rarely feel insecure. Moderately agree. You have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Moderately agree. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. I don't work in teams. Homie don't do teams. But if homie had done teams, The answer would be strongly agree. You think everyone's view should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not? No. You know, you respect them as a human being, but that doesn't I mean you have to respect their what they're spewing out of their mouth. You know, v Day are two presidential candidates. You feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Now, that kind of enervates you, doesn't it? So that was a mildly disagree. You frequently misplace your things. Doesn't happen very often at all. I, I know where all the shit is here. I mean, it's messy, but I know where it is. <clears throat> you see yourself as very emotionally stable. Moderately agree. Your mind is always buzzing with unexplored ideas and plans. Oh, absolutely. You know, the big show is always up here. You would not call yourself a dreamer. I'll say mildly disagree. Um, you usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. Strongly disagree. I've been talking in front of people all my life. But, you know, public speaking. I mean, we were, you know, and, and my, where, where I went to school, you know, you, sh you had to give public oral presentations starting in the fourth grade. Never bothered me. Um, I know it does bother a lot of people, though. It's actually one of the most stressful things human beings can do. Um, generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. Moderately agree, yeah. If not strongly agree. You worry too much about what other people think. Hell no. If the room is full, you stay closer to the walls, avoiding the center. Yeah, you always, you know, you, you always want to keep your back to the wall. You never know when somebody's, you want to see who's coming in that door. You never know when you might have to head for, for another exit. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything. Well, somewhat, you know, you know, moderately disagree on that. I there were there were many a time I finished a seminar paper, you know, with a half hour to go before I had to, you know, pull out the typewriter and run it over to the to class. But uh, um, nonetheless, there was still enough time. 
You feel very anxious in stressful situations. Moderately disagree. Never get excited in the OR. That's when people die. Never get excited in the OR. You believe it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Well, mildly disagree. Uh, I, I may have answered on the first time through, uh, well, actually, I did answer on the first time through, mildly disagree. I think second time through, I actually answered uh, moderately disagree on that. So, um, no, you, you have to have some influence over what's going on around you. You've always been interested in unconventional, ambiguous things. Uh, for example, in book, arts, or movie. Oh, absolutely strongly agree. You often take initiative in social situations. <laughs> Hell no. Strongly disagree. Okay. And that's it. I guess I, you know, I guess I was wrong. I guess I did read all 50 questions. Too. Well, this was, this was a lot of fun to take. Uh, and as I said, the result was astonishingly accurate. Uh, I'll leave the various links to these to Stan's video and this test thing here uh, below, and have some fun with this. So, said he belching. So I'll say bye bye YouTubers for that now. <laughs>